Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was originally supposed to be posting a clean with me video, but something happened in the editing app where all my clips of me cleaning got deleted. So I couldn't put them in one big video. So I figured I would just post this cook with me. So that way I have something posted for y'all. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like before you leave. First, you're just going to wash and put your chicken in the bottom of a instant pot or slow cooker. And then here I am adding a can of chili beans. And then I'm going to be adding a can of kidney beans. It can be the dark or the light. And then I'm going to be adding a can of corn, drained lightly but not all the way. And then a can of rotel. And then just season to your liking. I season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, and I think another thing, but I don't really remember what all I put on it. And then you are just going to mix it together to make sure that all the seasonings are incorporated throughout all of your chicken and the rest of the stuff that's in there. And then I just took eight ounces of cream cheese and just placed it right on top of the chicken and the beans and corn. Next, you're just going to lock the lid onto your instant pot and mine is on high temp and then I just turned it on for four and a half hours and then I just let it cook through. And then here I'm just taking the chicken out of the instant pot to put it in my KitchenAid so that way I can shred it up. I find it easier to shred up in my KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, you can just shred it with a fork. here I am just putting it on my KitchenAid to shred it so that way it is easier to eat and it will incorporate all the flavors. Here I am just dumping the shredded chicken back into the Instant Pot and then I'm going to put the lid back on and let it cook for the remaining 30 minutes. Before I put the lid back on, I'm just adding some shredded mozzarella to the top of that and then just mixing it up to make sure it mixes through. Once it has cooked for the four and a half hours, now it's ready to be stirred up and plated. <laughs> 